Shares of Bud Asia rising 4% after opening very slightly above the listing price of 27 Hong Kong dollars per share. This IPO raising more than $5 billion. This gives Bud Asia an enterprise value of $45 billion. And based on 2020 estimates, the price to earnings is 33 times, a lot higher than parent company AB InBev, but compared to other leading Chinese brewers, CR, CR Snow and Tsingtao, you see more comparable numbers there, also comparable numbers when it comes to revenue growth. But Asia third in that market by a very thin margin. People with knowledge of this IPO says it was motivated by a desire to reduce debt as well as grow through mergers and acquisitions in Asia. That's something that CEO Jan Kraps touched on. Many other markets in Southeast Asia, we are not number one or two. Uh, so if you, if you look at Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines, uh, Cambodia, there is many, many markets that we could imagine that we can create a lot of value together with regional players in the future. And people close to this IPO say M&A is a longer-term goal. The focus now is on China, the biggest beer market in the world, which consumes twice as much beer as the U.S., about 13 billion gallons a year, compared to 6.2 billion gallons a year here in the U.S. Also, debt reduction. The company has about $102 billion in debt, much of it from acquiring SAB Miller in 2016. And the company has said its goal is to reduce that net debt as quickly as it can, especially next year. Today's IPO is Hong Kong's largest IPO of the year and the second largest after U.S. ride-hailing company Uber.